All right, I've uh, played through quite a few games. We are in the middle, beginning of October. We're in quite a strong position. Let's get into the episode. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here. Welcome back to FM24 with Ipswich Town. So we've actually done quite well. You see we're second in the table, one point behind Nottingham Forest. The fixtures have been okay. The only real blemish is we lost to Stoke 1-0 uh, away. That was unfortunate. We weren't really at the races. And then we drew 1-1 with Plymouth, which was unfortunate. We also went out in the FA Cup third round to Everton, which I really am a bit frustrated with because we played better than them for most of the game. But unfortunately, they got the goals. We had a late reply from George Hurst. We couldn't find the equaliser. The main problem, yeah, Sevilla wasn't very good. But other than that, we've been doing quite well. We've been getting the goals, getting the wins. Perhaps we just finished smashing Bristol 4-0. Uh, we have had one more signing. We made him on deadline day, bringing him in on loan. Uh, where is he? Here we are, Moffe Jamidi. He is 19, he plays, we're playing him in defence, he's on loan from Crystal Palace. We're hoping, to, I really need to find somebody who can actually play centre-back, because everybody seems to want to play wide centre-back. Um, for the game against Oxford, we're trying something a little bit different, as you can see. We're playing three midfielders, mostly so I can try and use Bubakar Traore, also because apparently Eroja Bunam, part of the loan agreement, is to play him as a central midfielder. I've already been yelled at by Jose Mourinho, who's a current Aston Villa manager about that. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go straight into the game against Oxford. They're not doing too well. I think they were they were only promoted last, this last season, so they're new to the championship. Is that... Fucking a 34-year-old Danny Ings up front for Oxford. Wow. Things you see when you're like 20, 20, you know, five, three, four years into this. That's crazy. Anyway, we'll do the rest of the instructions and then we'll get on with the game. We're done. <clears throat> so the team we're going with is Svilar, Norrington Davis, Jamide, Twanzebi, Back, Amiri Troy, Roger Bunam, Dobbin Johnson, and Adebayo. I'm just going to make sure that I've got something up. Okay. All right then, let's see if we can prevent Danny Ng scoring a goal. Uh, I will probably revert back to usual tactics at half time, but I just want to try something different. It lets me make the most of the fact that I've got quite a lot of midfielders. So we should be able to, I mean, we should be able to get a result. Wait, I'm going to turn on the light this way too. Oh, there we go. Right, let's try out this new formation. See if we can get a good result. Just grab my charger. Fucking wire was all tangled up. Anyway, we've got a good chance here, and Dobbin shoots it. Well, no, it blocked and sent over. We got a corner. Ooh, Jamidi there gets his head to it, but gets saved. Dominated the early stages, which is good. Great. Norrington Davies on a booking. Oxford are yet to have a shot. Both my, both my fullbacks woke now. Good catch. Good steal by Mary. Oh no, what's happened? Oh my, what a de thankfully the defenders are alert, but Amiri, what are you doing? Holy Christ.
Uh, I think that's enough of that. So we're going to put on MACD here. In the last playmaker role, we're going to take a Roy Storing to Philippe Davis. Right. This is no more normal formation. This is a good side tackle, actually. You know, I'm going to take off, get stuck in. It's not helping. We're just picking up cards. Don't think Svilla needed to get his hand to that. I know Johnson can get away with this. No, he just gets tackled instead of passing the ball off. Great. Good. Alert. so close. It's going to be Johnson's last act because I'm going to put on um, David Hart Jr. now. And we have four bookings already. Gonna have to make that change because I need to keep towards AB Fresh from Birmingham. Because we're also playing Birmingham and we are playing them like literally five a couple of days afterwards, so. And we'll put on clock as well. Ooh, almost. <coughs> Only the four minutes. Can we do something late here? Oh, no. How's that a foul? God, that's annoying that we've basically pissed away a good chance. Because I think we should, I shouldn't have made that tactical change at the beginning. I think I should have just started as I was. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead into the Birmingham game. So, yeah, give me a second. All right, it's time to face Birmingham. We're back to normal, although we have pushed further up in the midfield. So we've got Svila, Davies, Jamide, Twanzevi back. Amiri, Erojabunam, Makat Makati. Johnson, Dobbin, and Adebayo. Very, very quickly. Let's go. Hopefully we won't get overrun in the midfield, but I can push Amiri further back if necessary. Oh, for God's sake. Very good. 
picking that up again. Since it's one save E. Up to Davies. That's a good Ooh, that was a good fucking cross. Adebayo just heading over. No, what was that, for fuck's sake, but they can't make it count. Yeah. I can sort it, but I'll sort it in a moment. Oof. Still got the corner. Almost. It feels like we're getting closer, we'll say. And that was wasted. All right. So it looks like we are going to have to... Just have to keep Amiri back. Almost. So, it's, uh, it's getting better. We've been completely on top, so happy. Yeah, it's going to break down. Uh, how, did, how did Dobbin get through his man? What? What? I'm not, I'm entirely unsure about how we scored that. Watch, watch Dobbin here. He doesn't even look like he's megged him. There. Uh, I, he's glided across the ground on his standing foot. And the ball's been magnetised to him. I, I think that's a little bit of an AI glitch there. I don't think that's meant to happen. Roger Boone, I'm getting the ball back brilliantly. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that's been a crap shot. I'm going to ignore that because we haven't had a million bookings yet. <laughs> Maxi couldn't shoot through, then uh, Leaf Davis almost gets the shot in. But doesn't. Johnson could come off. Hara Juni can come on. I meant to actually put him in the starting 11, and then I thought, nah, we'll keep Johnson. Yep. That's poor from Davies there. Just basically makes a really weak pass and lead intercepts. Nice. Get that out. Yeah, well, we earned the corner, but we should have been a lot faster breaking out there. I'm not, I know I'm not exactly a direct counter-attack guy, but I do think this game should, you know, you think probably players on the pitch would be able to see where there's, I don't know. Is it machine or is it? My tax. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm talking shite. Anyway. Ooh. I don't think he was offside there. I think that's harsh. Good header. Roger, but I'm going to collect that. There we go. And, ah. Oh. Or Junior gets the ball and then just kind of just gets nudged and then he loses it. All right. Or is even even for the amount of like shots that we're getting away, they're making a lot of saves. All right. Why not? 
and then we will take off and bring on... Where the fuck is Mason Holgate? Oh shit. Well, my last support. You'll, you'll be fine. Okay, well then. Jeez, how many shots? How many saves has their, their keeper made? Ooh. Oh, nice. Adebayo gets the second goal. Oh, my God. How is that off? I don't think that's offside. Let me... I disagree. I must disagree there. I think he is dead on. He's... Oh, that's good. Go on, man. Go... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, man. Finally, Lewis Dobbin gets a second and we finally go 2-0 up after fuck knows how many chances. Oh. Yeah, look, 19 shots, 8 on target. Birmingham had 3, no shots on target. They've, we've dominated them completely. Uh, this one's going to bring Mason Holgate. Ah, that's poor Torres. I've been watching that. But I'm beginning to worry it might be a huge waste of fucking money. Well, we got the win in the end. But because we drew with Oxford, we're now left one point behind. Yeah, see. One point behind both Sheffield United and Nottingham Forest. So, that's frustrating. We're going to have to beat both of these teams if we want any chance. Fine. Well, that was unfortunate. So then I, I didn't realize at the time as well I ended up playing through like all the rest of August and all of September. So we'll come back. I mean, I might as well play these four games and then come back for Southampton and Middlesbrough. Because that would be two pretty big games, actually. So that's when we'll come back for Southampton and Millsborough at the beginning of November. So when regarding to when that episode is going to be, obviously I'm not putting on video Christmas Day. When, uh, Boxing Day, I am going to the county ground to watch Swindon versus Wrexham. So I'm probably going to be back on the 27th. So I will see you guys in two days. I have been Canberra Run. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy them, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. And guys, have a Merry Christmas.